A devotional thought for my life today, titled, Clothed and Naked. Our scripture reading is taken from Matthew chapter 25, verses 35 and 36. Truncated, of course. I was naked, and you clothed me. Christ says, it was I who was hungry and thirsty. It was I who was a stranger. It was I who was sick. It was I who was in prison while you crowded your wardrobe with rich apparel. I was destitute. And while you persuaded your pleasures, I languished in prison. When you deloaded and out of penitence of bread to the starving poor, when you gave those flimsy garments to shield them from the bittering frost, did you remember that you were giving to the Lord? All the days of your life I was near you, in prison of these inflicted ones. But did you not seek me? You would not enter into fellowship with me. In the professed Christian world, there is enough expended extravagant display for jewels and ornaments to supply the wants of all the hungry and clothe the naked in all our towns and in our cities. And yet these professed followers of the meek and lowly Jesus need not deprive themselves of suitable food or comfortable clothing. What will these church members say when confronted in the day of God by the worthy poor and afflicted, the widows and the fatherless, who have known pinching want for meager necessities of life, while there was expended by these professed followers of Christ for superfluous clothing and needless ornaments expressed forbidden in the word of God enough to supply all their wants? In the 50th chapter of Isaiah, the work that the people of God are to do in Christ lines in clearly is set forth. They are to break every yoke. They are to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked. And if they carry out the principles of the law of God in acts of mercy and love, they will represent the character of God to the world and receive the richest blessings in heaven. I pray to God that you have found this devotion suitable for your day. God bless.